research heavy reading has done in the past six months, it's clear that telcos are going to be investing heavily in cloud computing over the next few years, and we certainly expect 2012 to be a hot year for, for their investment. We're here today to talk to Michael Jenkins, a senior cloud expert with Huawei. Huawei's been investing very heavily in cloud computing research uh, and in recruitment uh, at its three cloud computing worldwide research center in the US, Canada, and China. So Michael, to start with today, could you tell us a little more about Huawei's cloud computing strategies and investments? Huawei is uh, recognizing a very interesting opportunity happening in the telecommunication space right now as we're merging both information technology and classic carrier services like telecommunications. And this is an area we call ICT, or Information and Communications Technology. Huawei is contributing in this area in an offering we call Single Cloud, which is a platform that carriers can use to provide managed ICT services. So, can you expand a little on Huawei's cloud computing strategies and the product offers that you have to fulfill them? So Huawei is developing a range of products and services around cloud computing, starting out with the infrastructure. We have a capability of providing carriers very scalable and very robust data centers, container, modular, and classic data centers. And on top of that, Huawei is putting in cloud computing infrastructure. This would be the storage, compute, and access to make an extensible and highly secure carrier-grade platform. And on top of that, then, Huawei is building the modulars that are required for platform as a service. This is the software that over arches the cloud computing platforms. And then we're also building an ecosystem for independent software vendors to install and operate their applications on the single cloud platform. And this is a new revenue opportunity for carriers to be able to encourage their customer base, their small to medium sized enterprises, to purchase applications as a value added service. And of course, one of the things operators are always very concerned about is how are they going to make money? So do you have any recommendations about how they can make money from cloud services? Certainly, I spend quite a bit of time talking to operators and carriers who are moving their business from classic telecommunication services into managed ICT services. Our general recommendation is for carriers to start with what they're comfortable with, starting uh, at offering initially an infrastructure as a service. We find that carriers are very comfortable in operating data centers, provisioning, and capacity planning. In the phase two, carriers tend to move into platform as a service. This requires more complexity, requires more investment and strategy. But this is very important in Huawei's opinion for carriers to move into. So there needs to be a clear strategy for platform as a service. From there then software and applications can be offered. The real revenue streams can be wide and varied based on the types of markets that they're entering into. So if they're interested in going into the small to medium sized enterprises, they're interested in applications and IT utilities. If they're going after large enterprises as a customer in a target segment, then they're mostly focusing around infrastructure as a service. And this is really exciting opportunities for new revenue opportunities for carriers. So Michael, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you.